Biotechnica, welcome to another video. So now I'll be talking about the 10 tips to get jobs in biotech industry in the United States of America very faster as a fresher. Suppose if you're a fresher who is thinking to fetch a job in biotechnology industry in the United States of America, I'll be talking about the 10 tips that can really help you in fetch a job in the United States of America. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's get started to the video. So let's talk about the first tip, what you have to do if you want to fetch a job in biotech industry in the United States after a fresher. So first important thing I would suggest for anybody who looks for a job in the United States of America uh, in biotechnology industry, what you have to do is start networking earlier, which means you have to get connected with people like you need to go for some conferences or you need to attend uh, some sort of workshops to get to know about the companies, about the research work that's been going on in the United States of America. So start networking earlier. Earlier is very, very important. And build a relationship with professionals in the biotech industry. Suppose if you have graduated from MSc in biotechnology or MSc uh, in any sort of life sciences, and if you're coming and you want to work in a biotech industry in the United States, you need to know who exactly work in a specific company. Suppose, let me take it as an example. If you wanted to go in for Novartis uh, company and you want to work over there, then what you can do in the United States of America is, so you get to connect with people who is really working enough in the Novartis company in the United States of America. So start your networking easier. The best way that you can do is through uh, LinkedIn or through any kind of social media, you can get connected to people who have a specific designation in that company working in the United States of America. So start your networking very, very easier. Not only by connecting with people, you can start looking for many uh, websites where you find a lot of United States of America biotech jobs available. So start a bit early and you can also get it by attending many industry events. That's what I mentioned, like you can go for symposium, uh, conferences, workshops. And if you go and attend over there, like suppose you can see many uh, companies used to come and present in conferences. Like if you go in for many national laboratories, you will see many companies used to come and sponsor them. So that time you have a time to interact with those people and joining professional organization. You can also go and uh, work for a particular period of time, either in a part time work or anything else in a professional organization where you want to go and connect with potential employers on the social media. That's what I was mentioning. Uh, suppose if you are looking for a job in a specific company, type in, in the LinkedIn about the company, look for the people who are there and give a connection request to them so that you connect to the people and you'll get to know about what are the vacancy of your interest are available in the United States of America in the area of interest in the biotech companies very specifically. So this is the first thing that you have to do if you're looking for a job in the United States of America in biotechnology field. The second one, yes, you got connected, but when you want to go from India to the US, you need to have some skills because uh, the curriculum that they follow in the United States of America is very different when you compare it with the Indian syllabus or Indian curriculum. So for that, what I would suggest is if you are entering into any sort of biotechnology company or biotechnology in, in industry as a research or any sort of profile, you need to gain experience. What you have to do is gaining experience doesn't mean like you have to go for a job, get an experience and then you are applying for any other places. It's not like that way. Gaining experience through an internship. What you can do if you are someone who wanted to go in for pharmacovigilance or if you're someone who wanted to go for regulatory affairs or if you're someone who wants to go in for clinical research associate positions. So in that cases, you need to get certain internships in specific companies or in a specific laboratories or you want to become a medical scientist, get an experience through any kind of internship, any kind of workshops, any kind of symposiums, attending a conference, everything or do a part time jobs. When it comes to uh, sciences, I will always say that you will always have a part time job. You can work in a part time job in any of the biotechnology companies or medical sectors so that you gain an experience. When you have studied and you have an experience, it would be very easy for the employer to hire you. So how you can really do is gain some valuable skill. It's very important. It's not important that you're going for some part time job. You're not fetching any kind of skills. That's not going to be worthy enough. So gain some valuable skills and valuable knowledge. And as I already mentioned, get connected with the potential employers. The next one, 
okay now you got an experience you have uh, started searching for job opportunities or you uh, started going in for connection with people the third important thing is develop a strong resume so we have already done a video on that resume as well as uh, the cover letter how to make it more efficient so that it will be attracting the recruiters eyes so develop a very strong resume and a cover letter there you have to highlight as we already know a resume can be in usually in one page that's more than enough a cover letter can be in one page make sure that you put all the content very crisp in the resume as well as cover letter do not ever miss any of the achievements that you have done you don't have to boast yourself but you can put your achievements in a very concise way highlight all the skills that you have learned through an internship programs or through any sort of workshop and if you have any experience in biotech in industry please put it over there whether if we talk in case of if you have worked in a, a research laboratory or r&d department in a biotech industry working as an intern or if you have worked in some uh, laboratories in uh, national laboratories in india then you can definitely put all the relevant experience over there and what are the things you have to include put your internships in your resume and when you're talking in case of your cover letter you always include what are the research projects that you have what you have learned through that project that you've been carried out what are the interpretations of your result everything you can put it over there in your cover letter so this is what you have to do for the next one let's talk about the fourth point so here research potential employers yes now what we have done we started searching for a job and simultaneously you got an internship opportunity and you are gaining experience and you have made your resume and you have made your cover letter the fourth important thing is you have to look specifically for the job that you are looking for if you wanted to look for a job especially let's take it take it as an example you want to become a clinical research associate so what i have to know is what are the companies that are very well versed in clinical research so i will be recruiting all those clinical research organizations in the us and look for the recruiters or the hr managers who are working in the company so research potential employers in the company of your interest and tailor your job application materials to the specific company and the position you are applying for now the procedure is you directly contact them through a linkedin and apply to the person directly or go to the portal of the um specific company that you're going to apply and put an application form along with your resume the fourth thing you're going to do this one this is an important tip for all of you the next one apart from that you feel when you have applied for the job sometimes the application process will be rejected because of certain reason apart from that okay yes you got an experience but even though you wanted to upskill yourself you can do another thing is obtain some additional education or training programs to make yourself more competitive because when we talk in case of us market very especially biotechnology is growing drastically which means people who are entering into biotech industry are very well versed in uh, technical skills and computer skills and many many more in order to enter into a competitive market you need to have something extra also not only internship is going to help add some additional educations like learning up a technique and becoming a certified professional in learning a technique there are certification programs uh, which are conducted by the companies like thermo fisher amgen and they used to provide a certificate that you are a trained professional in specific technique like hplc so like those kind of things so take up some additional courses which will be applicable for your job and make yourself more competitive in the job market then only you can actually get any of the graduate degree or any sort of certification i'm not talking about internship it's about certification programs for you so now the next point for you is always stay updated because since you're going to go enter into a biotechnology industry in the united states of america you always have to be very very updated because it's growing drastically of course in india too stay up to date with the latest development and trends in the biotech industry what is exactly happening in the biotech industry is it growing very well far and what happened to the present uh, medical situation that's been happening and how biotechnology industry is showing an impact towards this problem everything and be prepared to discuss these in the job interviews sometimes in biotech industry when you go in for us industry uh, us interviews very specifically they wanted to know what you know about the field very specifically and how updated are you in the biotech industry so you need to know this is the current scenario and these many companies have come into market and they have been uh, starting off with producing drugs or manufacturing drugs many things you can talk about so stay up to date information what's happening in the biotech industry in the united states of america along with it globally also
And next important thing for everybody who are, who are looking for an opportunity in the US is be open to different job opportunities. Some people will be restricting themselves only to if I want to go for regulatory affairs, I'll go only for regulatory affairs. I'll not take up any other position. If somebody wanted to go for QC, they'll go only for QC. But I'm telling you, you can take up a job that's related to this kind of jobs. So be open to different job opportunities in the US and consider applying for position outside of your immediate area of expertise. Suppose if you're not getting a job in a specific field, if you have a correlated field which is somewhat similar to that definitely you can go for that field also which is going to fetch you a lot of salary for you in case of a biotechnology industry you have many job profiles you might be looking for one job profile you can look on to another job profile in the same biotech industry on the same biotech companies also so always be open to different opportunity when you go to the us this is most important thing you should not be sticking on to only one profile in a biotech industry that's very important the th eighth important thing is be proactive and persistent in your job search. Be proactive. Very specifically, if someone falls, uh, I should not be reacting to someone who falls. We should always go and do an action to help them to come up, right? So that is proactive. So if you find something that is happening during your search, you should never react to what is happening in your search, but you need to take an immediate action for your search. So be proactive and very, very persistent in your job search. So make time for searching for a job in the US. When you go in for searching for a job in the US, it takes a lot of time and you will get a lot of knowledge actually. So you'll get to know which are the company's offers, what are the qualifications, how much experience, what are the skills that you need to have, so you be persistent keep on searching until you are getting the goals that you wanted to go to the US so reach out to potential employees as I already mentioned go for this one the next important thing is work with a recruiter or career coach yes suppose if you're feeling it yes it's not going to work out really well enough for me you can connect with a person in LinkedIn or through a social media uh, who is a recruiter of the company and try to work with them and help to identify what kind of job will be well fitted for the company so that you can know how you can improve your job search strategies because this is very important when you're going to go and search in for one job you need to know how you have to search for a job how you can literally uh, reduce your time and look for a lot many opportunities. So a recruiter, recruiter if you're going to be in connection with them or career uh, coach, you will definitely guide you like how you can plan searching for a job very specifically in the United States of America. This is really important. The next important thing is be prepared to showcase your skill. Many people uh, have many knowledge, but what exactly happen is they doesn't show it up a lot. So be prepared to showcase your skill, your experience, very specially in the job interviews in the United States of America. Because when you're going to go in for US interviews, you should not boast yourself, but should, you should put a point that you know many things like you have a lot of skills and experience and always try to negotiate the salary and willing to negotiate the salary if you want this much amount of dollars for one year just tell that you want this much amount of dollars always negotiate your salary when you go to us because you're going to a different country which is a lot of expenses and other terms to secure the job you want whatever you want you only have to speak for yourself in the interview so this is all about the 10 tips to get a jobs in biotech industry in the United States of America faster as a fresher, starting from how you um, go in for a search and then we have done till how you can talk in the interview very specifically. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel, Biotechnica. Thank you all of you for your time.